Having its roots in statistics, machine learning might appear very daunting, especially with all the maths one might need. And figuring out what to study in the first place to become a machine learning pro, and then also figuring out what the best resources are, is tough. Therefore, I have curated a list with the best resources for all different levels and domains necessary for machine learning. By the end of this video, you will have all resources that you really need to know and can get started right away. First, we'll of course be covering courses for machine learning and deep learning. Then we'll look at resources for the maths that you need. Then we'll go over recommendations for Python beginner and intermediate tutorials, but also look at resources for Python and machine learning projects. And finally, I will give some recommendations on how to stay up to date. So let's get right to it. The first course that I would recommend is by Andrew Nguyen on Coursera. In fact, the first two courses that I would recommend are by him, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. In the very beginning, I would recommend his course called Supervised Machine Learning, Regression and Classification. This is a beginner level course and focuses on classical machine learning. Not on deep learning, but again, classical machine learning. The content covers a lot of regression in the beginning. Linear regression, logistic regression, but it also goes over gradient descent, feature engineering, regularization, and also advice for applying machine learning. The great thing about this course is that it is very intuitive and gives a great feeling for machine learning, which is very important. After completing this course, you will have a good base knowledge of machine learning and can comfortably move on to more advanced or specialized topics such as deep learning. Speaking of deep learning, this is the next course that I would recommend, again by Andrew Nguyen. And this is a whole specialization which consists of four individual courses. The content of this specialization starts with neural networks and deep learning. It gives an introduction into deep learning, talks about neural network basics, shallow neural networks and deep neural networks. And the other course names pretty much speak for themselves. Now for all of those courses there are free audits, which means you can just watch the lectures without paying anything. But if you want to get a certificate that you can print out for whatever that's worth, or just display on LinkedIn, you have to pay $49 per month. But there's also a one week free first trial that you can use to get a certificate. But after that free trial is over, you'll have to pay those $49 per month. So I would just recommend to go a bit quick and that way you can save some money. But overall, those are amazing courses. If you want to look at a free course for machine learning, I would recommend the Machine Learning by Google AI course. This course will take you about 15 hours, but you can pretty much just skip through at your own pace. Like in the previous courses, Python is the programming language of choice and TensorFlow is also introduced. Each main section of the curriculum contains an interactive Jupyter notebook hosted by Google Colab. The whole system is a mixture of videos, articles and programming exercises. It's overall a very, very good course, but it doesn't have a certificate, if that is something that you want to have. Now I would briefly mention a resource for reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning in general is fairly advanced and you have to have a lot of good maths knowledge. And the book for reinforcement learning is probably the Sutton and Barto book. So if you are into reinforcement learning, just go ahead and start reading the book, go through it, and it is a very good read if you have the math skills. But finally, there's one more machine learning course that I would recommend by the Columbia University. This course is a advanced course and can be found at edX. It requires a lot of maths, calculus, linear algebra, probability, but is a deep dive into the probabilistic approach to machine learning. So if you're already very comfortable with the required maths or you have similar content in uni, this is a very good complement. Speaking of math requirements, I've read somewhere that the math that you need for machine learning is about 50% probability, 35% linear algebra, and 15% calculus. And I think that is pretty accurate. So let's go over the best resources that I can recommend for those different domains of maths. Let's talk probability. The best book for this domain is probably the Blitzstein Huang Introduction to Probability, which is a free book that you can pretty much just download off the internet. But there's also a very nice edX course on this book, which is free for audit, but again, a bit limited. If you want to get access to the full course material with graded exams and also a certificate, 
then you will have to pay 141 euros. That should be enough for probability. Regarding linear algebra, the book that I would recommend is called Linear Algebra, Foundations to Frontiers. It is an amazing undergraduate level book and again it is free. But not only the book is free, there's again a free but limited audit course on edX. If you want to have unlimited access and again a certificate, you would have to pay 100 euros. That said, if you already know a bit about linear algebra, advanced linear algebra, foundations to frontiers, is probably a better fit. Even though this is a graduate level course, the important content is reintroduced from scratch, so you'll probably not have to look at the previous book and course that I just recommended. So the book itself is again free to download off the internet. But the course website itself is a new way of presenting content, integrating video and notes into an overall great experience. It might not look super pretty, but it is probably nicer than just reading the book itself. And again, there is a edX course with free audits but limited content, and you would need to pay again 100 euros for the verified track. If you are more of a Coursera fan, I have a little bonus recommendation for you. The Matrix Algebra course on Coursera will take you about 20 hours, but covers a bit less, but is again similar content. When it comes to calculus, again, thinking about those 15% of calculus that you need, there's not too much that I would recommend. There's definitely a simple and very visual book on single variable and multivariable calculus that you can go through, which is maintained by a community project. Whenever you need to read up something you have forgotten or don't know about, it's always good to hoard a high quality resource to quickly look it up. Okay, enough theory. So in most cases for machine learning, you will be using Python as a programming language. So if you are a complete beginner to Python or already know a tiny bit, Code Academy is really the best course that you can find for Python. Again, you'll have to pay a bit for the Pro Lite version, which will cost you around 35 euros a month if billed monthly. That way you can just focus on learning Python for one or two months and then just quit the subscription. But Code Academy doesn't have videos. So if you really like learning by video and you don't want to pay any money, you can simply just watch YouTube courses. For example, there is a full course for beginners by programming with Mosh that I can recommend. Or you can take the course Python programming by Udacity. If you're more on the intermediate level, I can again recommend a YouTube video by freecodecamp.org. It overlaps a bit with the beginner course, but there still is some new information. Now that you are fairly comfortable with Python, you will eventually also want to learn some machine learning framework, right? In the Google course that I recommended earlier, they go over TensorFlow. But if you want to learn PyTorch, you can again watch a lot of free tutorials on YouTube. Or you go through the official tutorials in the PyTorch documentation. So if you're a beginner, it obviously makes sense to start with beginner tutorials. Intermediate level Python tutorials are also a pretty good place to be. But in my opinion, if you really want to become a Python pro, I would recommend a project-oriented approach. That means just work on projects, for example, machine learning projects. You can just go to YouTube and type in beginner Python projects or beginner machine learning projects and you will find a lot that you can work on. But for machine learning projects, I would say there are other better resources. For example, a Medium article that is called 20 machine learning projects. This is a summary of most of the basic machine learning projects on Kaggle. You often just need a dataset and can get going. Kaggle is a service that hosts great datasets and also challenges. This article basically just gathered most of the introductory Kaggle challenges. Kaggle itself is another great resource and in general just a great place to be. And if you're a bit more advanced, there's another specific Medium article that I can recommend called 8 machine learning slash AI projects to make your portfolio stand out. This again is a Medium article with another collection of projects, which are a bit more advanced projects, but very interesting. So, we are in the final section of this video. And as you might have guessed, the first resource that I recommend for staying up to date is Medium itself. This is probably the app or website for tech blogs. You can just follow a blog, for example, towards data science or follow categories like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, 
and you will find great content. Then you just read articles that you enjoy and let the recommendation machine learning model help you out with discovering new stuff. While we're at it, I'm also starting to post articles on Medium, so please feel free to follow me there. Then I can also recommend a few YouTube channels. One is by Yannick Kilcher, which is a AI researcher at ETH Zürich and has a series called ML News, which in on itself when watching it will just help you keep up to date. Another YouTube channel that I would recommend is called Two Minute Papers. This is just a researcher that does paper reviews or explains a few of the recent research papers and it's just a really nice experience. And finally, I would recommend just to go on LinkedIn or Twitter and start following amazing accounts like DeepMind. OpenAI, Google AI, Meta AI, Nvidia AI, follow someone like Jan Lecour, which is pretty much a godfather in the domain of deep learning. And whenever those institutions or people publish something, they will also announce that on LinkedIn or Twitter. That way you are pretty much at the source of the information and you can just choose yourself what you find interesting and look more into it and what you don't find that interesting. Okay, I think we can call it a day. We have now looked at an extensive collection of amazing resources for learning machine learning from scratch. We looked at pretty much everything that you need to know to get started. Maths, machine learning and deep learning courses, Python, machine learning projects, and even how to stay up to date. And even if you have an intermediate machine learning and deep learning knowledge, you can just choose at which level you want to jump in. But in any case, don't forget to enjoy the courses and enjoy learning. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you want to follow along this journey of learning machine learning and deep learning, please consider subscribing. And with that said, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.